and welcome back to your YouTube channel. So guys, previously I showed you how to run different type of operating system on your Android phone, including the Windows operating system, Linux operating system, and few others out there. And that's why I thought to make a different video in this series. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to run two Android OS in one smartphone. So at the same time, your smartphone will have the two operating system of the Android of the different versions, which will keep running on your smartphone, and you can easily switch between any one of them. So first of all, let me tell you is that there will be two type of the operating system is going to run on the smartphone. One is the primary Android OS and second is the secondary Android OS. So the primary Android OS is the Android OS which comes pre-installed on the smartphone and the secondary Android OS is the Android OS which we are going to run on that smartphone. Okay, so I have the option to choose one of the very latest version of the Android OS as the secondary Android OS like the Android Nougat or Oreo. But I have to choose the one of the very earlier version of the Android OS as the secondary Android OS like the Android Donut. So I chosen this Android version because I want all of you makeable to feel the very earlier version of the Android OS because all of you may not ever use the Android version from its early age like me I did not ever use the Android Donut and Android Donut is one, uh, is one of the very earliest version of the Android OS it is the Android 1.6 version okay so I think you will be you all will be like this video and if you like this video please don't forget to click on the like button and if you are new to our channel please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon okay so let's start this video and see how we can do this so first of all you download some files one is the uh, Limbo PC Inventor it's obviously because we are, one, we are going to run the different operating system on the Android phone so we will need the Limbo PC Inventor and the second is the Android OS version so I already told you here is that I will use the Android Donut as the secondary Android OS so you will find the link of the Android Donut in the description so you need to download the Limbo PC Inventor and the Android Donut ok so just go to the description and you will find the, all the links of these uh, required files and let's go to our smartphone and see how we can do this so here we can see guys I am on my smartphone so these are the two files that you need to download first of all this file this is the android x86 uh, 1.6 vdi it's the virtual disk image file and I will use it to run on the android phone using the limbo pc emulator and you need to install the limbo pc emulator here it is so you will find the download links of both the files in the description so go, just go to the description and download and install the uh, limbo pc emulator and copy and pass this uh, android vdi file ok now you need to go to the limbo pc emulator and here you have to uh, just to click on the I acknowledge and click on the OK OK and now you have to click on this none and click on the new and here you have to give a name to the virtual machine that we are going to create I will give here the Android OS and click on the done and click on the create OK now click on the there and in the architecture just select x86 and the PC type it should be the PC and CPU model should be selected default and the CPU cores is to be the maximum cores you can give so it's all depend on your phone specification how how much powerful your smartphone has is if your smartphone is very powerful you can give the 4, uh, four cores and if it's not just give the one core it does not matter it does not make any uh, higher spec there and in the RAM memory just select the um, maximum RAM you can give if you uh, start facing crashing of the If you face your uh, limbo PC uh, start crashed when you click on the play button then you should choose the uh, lower amount of RAM like 500 or 600 but I don't face like that because my smartphone has a 4G of RAM it's enough for me to giving 1016 MB to this limbo PC later so I will select here and now you click here on this uh, and just select on this none and click on the open and go to the uh, location where you uh, put it that VDI file that I shown in the description ok when you open it it may be uh, possible that your uh, smartphone does not showing the internal or external storage here so don't, don't worry about that just slide down from here and click on this three dot and click on the show internal storage and here you can see now when you click on this you slide down you will find the internal or external storage now go to the uh, location where you put it the uh, downloaded file VDI file so here you can see where I put it. Yes, here you can see this is the file Android x vdi file. Just select it and now slide down here and go down, go down and nothing to be changed here. In the boot from device, select the hard disk. So I am giving this virtual machine to be booted from the hard disk. So when you select the default, it will automatically start searching for the uh, appropriate booting device. And if you select the hard disk, it will directly start booting from the hard disk. Now here you can see in the user interface, select on the STL. And here you have to select the full screen. And here you have to click on the high priority and click on the OK. 
now you have to slide down up and here you have to click on this play button okay so it will take some time to boot this uh, android os so don't worry about that it will take almost 15 to uh, 20 minutes yeah, it will not take long at a long uh, longer time as it is taken in the windows operating system and in my phone it almost taken almost 5 to 10 minutes and it was working very fine here you can see when you it will open it uh, it will open like this just select on this and click on this and click on this uh, enter button So here you can see guys the android version is booted right now and it will take around from uh, 15 to 20 minutes to boot and after that it will run very natively on your smartphone here you can see it will run very smoothly so just click on the back button and click on the mouse, mouse option and you can see it shows the mouse trackpad mode detected and now go back and here you can see now you can see the mouse button here and now you can just uh, choose any option from here so let me open this app drawer from here so just go to that option, go to that option and uh, just to touch on the screen, here you can see and it will open the uh, app drawer here and here you can see it has some pre-installed app like the alarm clock, app store, the browser or the context and dev tools and here you can see there is a game also, snake on a phone, let me open this and see whether it's run or not, here you can see I opened a snake on the phone, uh, let me open my keyboard here so how to handle it okay you can see so you just need to install this keyboard its name is hackers keyboard and you can use this android on your smartphone very easily you can see i'm playing this snake on the phone game and it's come pre-installed in the android donut here you can see okay let me go one side mode back okay so you can see that the android apps is also working in this android os okay now let's go back just click on the escape button here and it will come back and now just uh, click on this back button and now let's open the setting and see which android version is showing in the setting so now just click on the app driver again and open the setting where is the setting Okay, there is a two setting here, dev tools and the spare parts. So just go to the dev tools here. Okay, no, sorry, sorry. Here you can see this is the setting also present. Okay, let me close this dev tools. So it will, it is a developer tool. So it's not have any use of us. Let me close this and let me reopen the setting from there. So it's how uh, this is the version of the uh, Android when it is in the very early stage. It is Android 1.6, and here you can see how it's feel, how it looks when the Android is in the very early stage. And now let's me open my keyboard and just click on this uh, lower key. 
and go to the about section and see the android version present here okay so you can see here is the about version so i will click on the enter and it will open something like this now let's me go more downside so you can see the firmware version showing here is that uh, the 1.6 so you can see it's showing the 1.6 as the firmware version which means the android 1.6 is installed here which is the android donut and you can see it's also showing the kernel version 2.6.29 android x86 okay so you can easily use it on your smartphone and you can and you can also switch between to your previous android OS like this you can see so this is running as the an app so there is not any effect on your smartphone and if you want to close this just simply click on these three dots at the top here you can see in the right top corner here you can see and just click on the shut down and click on the yes now you can see it's certain doubt and now just click on the home button and you are back to uh, pre-install android os here you can see everything is working here right now okay so that's all guys in this video i hope you like it and if you like it please don't forget to click on the uh, like button and if you're new to our channel please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and, and press the bell icon so whenever i upload a new video you will directly get notified and here guys uh, there is also a new video is coming that is the mac os on the android phone i'm working on it and there is a layer, very little issue that i'm facing here but i will when i will resolve that issue i will also upload a video on how to run the mac os on the android phone and it will help you a lot if i will uh, try to add some software inside uh, with that uh, image file that I am going to provide you. So I hope you will like it. So don't forget to click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon. So thanks guys for watching this video. Have a good day, good luck and bye take care.